Welcome to my review of the flip. So I have been given the flip ultra HD by the lovely people at Dixon's Travel to do a review. Now I actually was tempted to buy this camera anyway for summer rather than lugging my camcorder about. So perfect. Now firstly the flip ultra HD packaging presentation has the wow factor. Now normally when you get your gadget you take it out of the box, get the instruction manual way out of the way and then for the agonizing wait for it to charge. Not with this. Flip Ultra HD runs on two AA batteries which the nice people have put in the box. This means from the time it took for me to sign for the delivery to switching it on was about five minutes which is fantastic for presents for Christmas time or the impatient like me who just want to get playing with their new gadget. Now for the design features. This little thing's got a lot going for it. First of all, it's small and light, which means it can either go in my pocket or my handbag, unlike my camcorder. It can go traveling with me wherever, and it means that I'm versatile to always get those on-the-spot clips like this footage from today. Also, which appeals to me is it looks like a mobile, which means you can always get those stealthy little shots from your friends and family without them knowing. The rubber exterior means it has great grip and it comes in two colours, pristine white and black like a ninja, which is always my preferred colour of choice. Now the flat base means that it doesn't tip when freestanding, but luckily it does have the universal screw adapter so it can attach to all tripods. Now for design, it is lacking a front facing screen, which means when you're shooting yourself, it can be quite hard to tell whether you're in the shot or not, but as negatives go, that's the only real thing for design, so that's pretty good. Now next for the bit that I usually hate, the starting up. The flip's so easy to use that instead of having an instruction manual, they have an instruction leaflet. And for once, I actually understood how to use these to get my gadget linked up to my TV. And as soon as you switch it on for the first time, the startup menu comes in. Now this is where you set your preferences for language, date, time, and whether you want the tones and also the red record light be on or off. Now as I say I like to do stealthy filming so I prefer not to have tones beeping away and not to have the red light. This is also quite good if you've got pets or children that can easily be distracted whilst you're filming. And I find filming with this really quickly very very good. It takes a millisecond for you to switch it on till you're recording. Now that's great because you don't want to miss any footage because your camera is still loading because you'll never know when you need it. <gasps> see? Now most importantly, the picture quality. In good light, this camera is amazing. I filmed these flowers today and as you can see, the colours are really bright, it's crisp and clear. Now when the lighting is lower, it's quite grainy, I have to say. And also there's a kind of sepia tone for all the colours. Now the biggest negative I could find about filming with it is that it doesn't have a macro setting, which means anything up close is really out of focus and fuzzy. Right, now you filmed all the shots of your friends falling over and your cat's doing incredibly cute things, you'll want to put it on the computer so you can share it with your friends. Normally, with this sort of gadget, you'd get a USB cable, which no doubt you would lose in a couple of months. Well, I would lose it. With this, it's built in. I love doing that. So that is a huge plus, and it literally just folds back in so it can't get broken. Like everything else with the flip, putting files on your computer is super easy to do. The software, which is really easy to use, is already on the camera, which means there's no CDs to load onto your computer. Also, you have the option of just opening the folder and clicking and dragging onto your computer, which I usually prefer to do, than use the software. This is good because if you're at a friend's house, you don't necessarily need the software loaded on their computer just to watch some files. All in all, I'm clearly in love with the Flip Ultra HD and kind of kicking myself that I haven't got one sooner, so thanks very much Dixon's Travel for sending me one. My main wishes would be for a front facing screen and for a macro setting to make it easier for filming. In regards to the picture quality, it's never going to be as good as a £1000 HD camcorder, but for the price it really is a fantastic buy, and with the accessories like waterproof cases it's going to be fantastic for this year's summer.